If we look at the golden ratio, we find it is divided into two parts, A and B. We have to square section A to form the golden rectangle out of section B. If we continue doing this, we form the Fibonacci spiral. Therefore, it is logical that any process that forms the Fibonacci spiral in nature and throughout the universe would have to be divided into two parts. And also, there would have to be a geometrical reason for this process to be squared. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light comes in two parts, and this could represent the A and B of the golden ratio. If this is explained as a geometrical process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking, that is relative to the surface of the sphere, this is like saying that the process is relative to the wavelength of the light. Within such a geometrical process, we would have to square the radius of the sphere to have the surface area. Therefore, we would have a spontaneous process that is continuously being squared, forming the golden rectangle and Fibonacci spiral. All we would need is spherical geometry to start with, and the spontaneous emission and absorption of light would do the rest. This is a simple diagram of an atom, with the electron probability cloud interacting with light or electromagnetic waves. The absorption and emission of light forms a quantum wave particle function, or probability function, that radiates out, forming the uncertainty of everyday life. The electron is the most spherical object in the universe, and I will place links below to mainstream physics videos that confirm this. In this diagram we have three concentric spheres whose radius are in a ratio of 1, 2, 4. If we draw a tangent line from the small sphere through the other two, crossing points A and B and extending to G, the ratio of the length of segment AG to segment AB is the golden ratio. In quantum mechanics, if the quantum wave particle function or probability function is reformulated as a linear vector, then all the information I have found says that each new vector is formed by adding the two previous vectors together. This is why this diagram is so important, because the outer sphere could be formed by adding the two smaller spheres together. And you could add the two outer spheres together to form a new sphere. And this is what I believe is happening with the spontaneous absorption and emission of light. Such a geometrical process would naturally form the golden ratio and the Fibonacci spiral. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.